channel. So today I thought I would do a quick video um, of how to make the Slimming World Zynga Burger. Um, it is a Zynga chicken burger. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I make it. Um, a few of you have asked for more recipe ideas and more kind of cook with me. So um, I thought I would do this one as it's one of my favourite meals. Um, well, actually, it's one of the family's favourite meals to have. So all you'll need is a obviously a baking sheet with some tin foil on. That's for when your chicken is all ready to go in the oven. You'll need your chopping board. You'll need, I use a pestle and mortar, but this is to crunch up the Dorito crisps. But you can just do that in kind of a bag or whatever you want to do it in. So I use a pestle and mortar for that. Then you'll need a um, bowl, which is going to make your um, breadcrumb mix in. And you'll need some weighing scales to be able to pop your crisps on so that you can weigh them exactly for your sins. So moving over to ingredients, there isn't that many ingredients that you need. So we've got chili heat wave Doritos. Now these are, you need to use 50 grams of these for two chicken breasts. We only have one chicken breast each. So these are six sins for 25 grams. So 25 grams will do one chicken breast and so that's six sins each. So you'll need chili heat wave Doritos. You will need some Cajun, extra spicy Cajun seasoning or just Cajun seasoning, whatever you can pick up. You'll also need your chicken breast. So as you can see, there's only me and Danny. So we're just doing two chicken breasts. And then you'll need two eggs. And then to pop your burgers on, we use the chia batter and um, white rolls from Shaw. Um, the one of these is your healthy extra B, um, and as you can see, they are like little, as if you had like a mini fillet burger, that kind of size um, bun. So yeah, they are gluten free as well. So you'll find these. We buy them from Morrison's, and they're in the gluten free section. Um, just a cheese slipping in there. Um, so they will be in the gluten-free section. Um, so if you want to look at them, they are beautiful. And then just sliding in there, because we forgot, was some cheese. So one of these slices is one of your healthy extra A's. Um, so we'll just use this to pop on top of our burger. So they are the ingredients. Um, we are also doing chips with them. Um, so all we've done with that is just use some potatoes. We've just popped them in the pressure cooker for a couple of minutes and we are just about to pop them in the air fryer. So I'll pop these all together and I will show you when I've made the mix. So guys, as you can see, I have weighed out the chili heat wave Doritos into the bowl. Um, I am gonna add this seasoning, which is the extra spicy Cajun seasoning from Schwartz. Now, just a reminder to you guys, just when you're picking up spices, just ensure none of them have got sugar or oil in. Um, because if they have got either of them two ingredients, they will have sins. Um, this one's absolutely fine and this one is free. Um, but just to be really aware because the odd sin might take you over your sin allowance. So um, yeah, this one is fine, but just make sure you're checking for any sugar or any oil in the spices just so that you can protect your weight loss. So yeah, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna add this Cajun seasoning to the Doritos and then we're gonna bash them up um, and I will check back in with you in a minute. So as you can see, the Doritos are now all crushed up and they have got the Doritos and the Cajun spice in there as well. So we're just gonna move over to the dish and we're just gonna crack two eggs in here. Just gonna do one egg. Eggs. So yeah, so I've got the two eggs in there, so I'm just going to whisk these together um, just to make an eggy mix for our chicken. So I'm just going to mix it all together like this. So guys, we have just took the chicken and we're just going to pop it in the egg. Daniel's going to do this bit for me so that I can film it. Um, and then we are going to pop it in the breadcrumbs. So 
so as you can see you have a breasted chicken absolutely covered in that beautiful Dorito mix and we're just going to pop the other one in and just obviously soak that around again pop it back into the Dorito mix and then pop it on the tray. So what we'll normally do then is we'll normally take the Dorito mix and pop it on the top of them just so you make sure you've got a really nice even coating of the crisps. So like you can see there are absolutely plenty of crisps with the amount we used. So again it was 25 grams for each chicken breast which made it 50 grams for the two. <coughs> Excuse me. It is six sins so this whole meal will be six sins, um, but it's so, so, so worth it. So yeah, so these are the chicken. So as you can see, they've got a really nice crust all over them. And then these will go in the oven at 200 for around 30 minutes. Um, but obviously double check with the differences in ovens and um, just make sure that you are checking them because you don't want to burn them. So yeah, so this is the chicken. And of course, because you put them in the mix, they are covered both front and back. So yeah, so I'll turn this back on once we are ready to make the burgers. So this is halfway through the cooking of the chicken. So as you can see, it's got a beautiful crispy topping on there. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn this over like this. And we're just gonna pop it back in the oven for a further about another third 20 minutes so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna pop this in the oven so guys these are the char and um, chia batter rolls that we're gonna have the burgers on so now we're just gonna pop them on a baking tray on some foil and we're just gonna pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes to um, just crisp up a little bit ready to have our burger on so I will catch up with you guys soon so guys, I did forget to mention, we also buy this um, Bisto Southern Fried Style Gravy. Now this is one sin per teaspoon of powder. Um, so it works out about two sins if you were gonna have it with the meal. So we do normally include this um, because it's just a nice added extra. So we are now just gonna load these up with our sauces and our cheese that we like. Um, this is where the sins will start to add up. So just make sure you've got enough of your daily allowance. We use our sins daily um, so that we can enjoy things like this. So yeah, so this is the Zynga burger just being made up. So this is our Zynga um, chicken burger. So like I said, you saw me putting the chicken on. Um, and I've just popped some salsa on there um, and the bun with the cheese. Then we've got just some lettuce and some chips that we did, um, some world style. So yeah guys, that is how you make Zynga burgers. I hope you enjoy them. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and also don't forget to like this video. Um, it really, really helps me on my YouTube journey. But guys, that has been it for me. You take care. Love you all. Bye.